Hawks as we take a look at some of those second half highlights here today. And Grace Larkin, you can't say enough about her. She's dealing with foul trouble all day, still battled in there and played 30, or uh, excuse me, still battled out there and played 28 minutes, 13 points, eight rebounds and five assists. Yeah, she did a little bit of everything today. Um, passed the ball well, shot the three well, got to the got to the paint, and just didn't it wasn't able to play enough with that ball trouble. Well, the redshirt freshman out of Green Bay, Carly Duffney, continues to get better and better. Really good with her body, very smart player. 15 points to lead the way, seven of eight from the line. You talked about Juliet Gordon, the energy she brings, her ability to make plays, finish inside. They needed them all today. Yeah, 15 points and 11 rebounds for Juliet Gordon, and a broken nose and a black eye. That's not going to stop her, and that's not going to hold her down. Casey Baravich, as we talked about, not her best shooting day, four of 16 from the floor, but did have 12 points, eight rebounds, and six assists as well. Yeah, her six assists is probably my favorite stat line. She really had a lot of attention on her, and when she created that two-man game with the Claire Orris and the Juliet Gordon, she played some unselfish basketball, put the ball in their hands in good scoring position. Well, North Dakota doing what they do to most teams, and that is winning the turnover battle and points off turnover. Some of those Turnovers were live ball, catastrophic type turnovers, certainly for South Dakota. Led to some runouts on the other end, and UNT took advantage of that. Yeah, North Dakota knew they wanted to run in transition and be smart and come up with big plays and hands in the passing lane. I thought Rakaia Beal came off and gave North Dakota a little, uh, came off the bench and gave them a little burst of energy. Like Mal said, scoring from the free throw line almost on that lay in, but shooting 50% from the three point line for this North Dakota team, 7 of 14. That's not going to happen for them every night. We saw them go 1 of 15 on Thursday, but when it was working today, the, the right players were taking shots and knocking them down.